In Honduras, just elected President Porfirio Lobo was quick to announce that he wants political amnesty for all those involved in the coup that overthrew President Manuel Zelaya. The right-wing businessman gained power in an election that was widely seen as fraudulent and illegitimate. Lobo's move flies in the face of rights groups such as Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch, who are calling for an independent investigation to ensure all those responsible for human rights abuses committed since the coup in June are brought to justice and the victims given reparations. Lobo told reporters, quote, I believe there should be an amnesty for all those involved in June 28th. There must be an amnesty for all. Lobo's election was organized by the coup regime. Argentina, Brazil, Venezuela, Uruguay and Paraguay have condemned the elections in Honduras as illegitimate and illegal. The bloc of South American trade partners, known as Mercosur, issued a statement noting, quote, its strongest condemnation of the coup in Honduras and saying, quote, in light of the failure to restore President José Manuel Zelaya to the position for which he was democratically elected by the Honduran people, we want to express our total lack of recognition for the November 29th elections held by the de facto government, which were undertaken in an unconstitutional, illegitimate, and illegal atmosphere. The Obama administration is enthusiastically backing Lobo. Human Rights Watch's Jose Miguel Vivanco said, quote, A blanket amnesty would set a precedent for granting impunity to abusers. The abuses committed during the coup and its aftermath need to be investigated, not swept under the carpet. Without a full and impartial inquiry, the legitimacy of any government will be called into question. In a new report, Amnesty International documents numerous human rights abuses committed since the coup, including killings and arbitrary arrests of protesters by police and the military, the mistreatment of political prisoners, violence against women, and harassment of activists, journalists, lawyers, and judges.